Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss one more new feature of JDK 1.8 that is static methods in interface. What is the main in intention of static methods? For example, if you want to write a logic within the interface from 1.8 onwards, we have a concept like a default methods. So, writing default methods in the interface it is simple, just to declare a keyword like a default on top of the method that is enough. But if you want to execute in that, what we required, definitely we required implementation classes, definitely we required implementation classes. Now, observe here, implementation class may be what, creating a separate class, otherwise we can go for what, anonymous inner class. That means, if you want to execute the default methods of interface, definitely we should choose a separate implementation class of that interface or anonymous inner class for that interface. Then let me develop one small program, then you can understand what is the benefit of or what is the usage of static methods in an interface. So, let me create one interface, interface i, here I am taking one method, public default void m1 method, void m1 method. Now, here I am writing like a system dot out dot print line default method from i interface, good. Now, I want to execute this. How can I execute this? I am now I am writing wrong syntax int m1, i m1. It is not a static methods. So, we cannot call what here directly or we cannot call by using what interface name. This is illegal. We will get what here? Compile time error. Now, how to call that one? We should go with the implementation class. What is that class? A implements i, a implements i. Now, simply what I am doing a obj equal to new a and obj dot m1 method, obj dot m1 method. Then what happened? Default method from i interface. Either we, we should call this method, if you want to call this method, definitely what we required implementation class like a. We can write one more way also. What is that void m2? There is a one method of, there is a method like m2 of a class. From this m2 method, I can call what here? m1 method. So, no need to face any problem. obj dot m2 method. Both the methods are going to execute our a class m2 method as well as m1 method of default method of interface i. This is what m2 method. This is what m2 method. This is a default method like what here? M1. Let me execute this program. Then what happened? Default method M1. Directly I am calling obj dot M1. So, compiler will go and check M1 method in which class object type. What is the object type here? A. Do you have M1 method? No. Then control goes to it is a super type. What is the super type here? I. Do you have M1 method? Yes. Compiler satisfy. JVM concentrate on what here? Memory. What is the memory? A class memory. Do In the A class memory, do we have a M1 method? No, it's it control goes to what here, it's a super type. I do you have M1 method? Yes, executing. Now, if you are calling like obj dot m2, then what happened? M2 method if a class executing, it will print m2, and again it, the control is going to what here? It's a super type like what here? M1. Executing. Super type like I from the I M1 method is going to executes. For example, there is no implementation class, then we should go for what here? anonymous in our class. Carefully observe i obj equal to new i. This is what here, do not be thinking this is what your object creation for interface, this is what your implementation class of i. This is what your implementation class of i. Now, from the i, I am calling m1 method. Now, what happened? Error. What happened here? Error. So, we are unable to call that m1 method from its implementation class. This is what anonymous inner class. This is what your anonymous inner class. If you want to call this m1 method from the anonymous inner class, 
for example even though if you are writing like uh, i dot m1 it will giving what here error so we can't give we can't uh, we can't uh, call m1 method directly from where here directly from anonymous inner class if you want to call like this definitely you need to write one more what i'm writing abstract void m2 now what i'm doing i'm overriding one method i'm overriding one method what is that method public void m2 method i'm overriding system dot out dot println anonymous anonymous what is this m2 method anonymous m2 method from this anonymous m2 method what i'm doing i'm calling what here m1 method from the anonymous m2 method i'm calling what here m1 method then let me execute this m2 method how can i obj dot m2 how can i obj dot m2 if you are calling m2 method then automatically what happen here anonymous m2 will executing from the anonymous m2 again we are going to access what here default method understand or not so that means simply we can say if you want to interacting with the interface default methods either we can go for a separate implementation class or we can go for the anonymous inner classes i don't want to recreate anonymous inner class i don't want to create a separate classes to implement that interface without creating implementations without creating a implementation classes like a separate class or anonymous inner class i want to communicating with the method i want to come i want to execute the logic of uh, interface then we should go with uh, then we should go with what your static methods then we can go with what uh, static method public void m3 method public void m3 method system dot out dot print ln this is static m3 method of i interface now what we are doing simply i am calling m3 method by using what interface name like i i dot m3 this is static m3 of i interface nothing but without without having any implementation class we can able to call okay now one more important thing is what is that observe let me take one class like a which implements which implements of what uh, i which implements of what here i now what i'm doing here public public void m3 method public void m3 method now very simple a is implements okay let me do one thing let me delete this default and abstract method and i don't require this stuff okay yeah i don't require this also so simply we can say what whatever the code i deleted up to now that code will highlighting only one thing without writing any implementation classes like a separate class or anonymous inner class if you want to execute the logic if you want to write the logic for execution in the interface we should write that logic within the static method okay now if you are writing like this we can directly call what here i dot m3 and automatically the methods are going to executing by calling what here this one now what i am doing here i am writing like m3 so whenever we executing this program no problem at all but like if you are writing like at the rate of override then it will giving error that means if you are not writing override here m3 compiler and jvm feels like what here m3 method the own method of a if you are writing like what here if you are writing like at the rate of override compiler will go and check uh, rules of the overriding what is that static methods won't be participated in method of overriding already this rule we have in the old concepts static methods never be participated in the overriding common data never be changed by one overriding means what here changeability static means what here common for all common for all data we can't change by one particular person so here here the m3 is what here common for all the logic is all common for all the implementations classes so we can't change it. okay so simply we can say static methods of interface can't be override in their implementation classes that is one point up to now in this video especially i told you like 
static methods in the interface static methods in the interface means very simple without creating implementation classes if you want to execute any logic that logic should be part of what here static methods now up to here up to 1.7 we can't write the static methods in the interface in java but from 1.8 onwards we can we can write uh, static uh, methods in the interface so we can say like this up to 1.4 by using class by using abstract class by using both by using both class and abstract class we can create the program we can compile the program we can execute also from 1.0 onwards uh, enum concept is introduced in the was introduced in the java by using with the, with the support of enum you can write a static methods we can write main method static main method and we can compile and executing from java 1.8 onwards from java 1.8 onwards without using class and interface and abstract class concept we can compile the program as well as we can execute the program with the support of what interface static methods let me show you that i want to write uh, one program very simple here let me take uh, one class like a in the class a i have one method like public static void main string array yes now here i am writing like a system dot system dot out dot println here i am writing like a main a main control a control c control v what is this yeah abstract class abstract class b now one more thing enum c and one more thing interface from 1.8 onwards interface i now this is what b main this is what c main and this is what i main let me save test dot java all files and save it do you want to replace it yes already existed now let me open command prompt and clear the screen go to desktop and java c test dot java yes what happened if you are writing anything other than constant within the enums definitely we separated with what here semicolon now clear the screen let me compile the program now successfully compiled let me execute java a a main java b b main java c c main java i i main that means up to 1.4 with the support of class and abstract class we can able to compile and execute the program from 1.5 onwards after introducing the concept like enum we can compile and execute the program and from 1.8 onwards without class and abstract class and enum we everything we can write within the interface everything means what here we can write the main method in the interface we can compile as well as what uh, execute so this, this is the concept related to static methods let me give a quick review with the help of static methods without uh, using the implementation classes we can able to execute the logic of interface and uh, static methods never be participated in inheritance from 1.8 onwards no need to take the support of class for execution we can take the support of only interface so i hope you understand the future of uh, static methods in interface for more videos please subscribe narisetty channel thank you